Olight Morator VN2. Possibly the best build quality flashlight I've ever handled. This one right here upgraded with XPL HI 5000 Kelvin uh, LEDs and it just uh, gives a wonderful tint. It removes that green tint from the stock LEDs. I'm not sure what the stock LEDs are, to be honest. If you know what it is, please put it down in the comments. But it has a green tint and I'm just not a fan and it didn't throw very well. It did like 55 KCD. These XPLHI does 120 KCD, so that's uh, over twice the beam intensity. All right. I left the stock W2.1 throw LEDs in the center because uh, it's excellent from the factory. Pretty cool user interface. I'll show you guys the interface real quick here. This toggle switch uh, goes from up is throw and down is flood. And this, uh, the LEDs on the right side here is the battery indicator. Left side is the brightness level. And then you click to turn on the light. Now it's in flood. Slide it up for throw down for flood you can only do one at a time you can't do both at a time and in the beginning I thought that was a uh, deal killer but then again in person it just makes sense there's really no point in having a square throw hot spot in the middle of your flood beam it just doesn't make any sense to me now it makes sense to have them individually lit all right uh, and then you turn this dial left and right to adjust the brightness level and it goes down rather low all right all right, let's take a look at the beam shot. So that's obviously the flood beam. It's about 11,000 lumen, 120 KCD, as I've said. Wonderful tint. No more green from the factory LEDs. And just that the extra throw is, uh, I appreciate the extra throw for sure. It's twice the intensity. All right, and then you pull down this lever, or you push up the lever of the toggle switch, and you have, uh, what is it, 180 KCD? Yeah, I think so, 180 KCD throw beam intensity. You're going to have to look it up. I don't remember. I have terrible memory, but yeah, very impressive. And then again, you turn this dial to bring down the brightness, and then turn it to the right to bring it up. Very large focus dare I say this is the best uh, flood and throw light other than the price there's just really nothing I can say negative about this light bam look at that What a freaking light, all right? Uh, one more thing I wanna show you guys real quick. This thing uh, has a built-in USB-C charger, uh, charger port here, and look at how cool the, uh, the charging port is exposed. It's kinda like a camera shutter-like, metal flaps that turns and uh, expose and cover up the, uh, it's hard to do with this with one hand, obviously. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very cool how you just turn the tail cap here and it uh, exposed or close up the uh, USB-C charging port. This thing has three built-in 5,000 milliamp hour 21700 battery and it also is a power bank. It will charge your phone and with three of those cells, it will charge your phone quite a few times. So very impressive light. The only thing that I don't, uh, I think it's a negative is this front lens here you can see i don't know if you can it'll focus but the middle part here is actually an aspheric and it actually uh is exposed and that's what's bad it's plastic is exposed and chances are it might get scratched with use but it's a really nice lens ar coated so it looks beautiful but yeah i would be extra careful not scratching this plastic lens in the front other than that what a what else can i say it's a wonderful light all right enjoy